Emulation has come a long way over the years. For those that don't know, emulation is basically when you use software to make your computer pretend to be a different device. For example, using a Super Nintendo emulator makes your PC think that it's actually a Super Nintendo. And through that emulator, you can open and run games for that system. Today, emulators can actually render games in a higher resolution than they could have originally ran on their respective console. What I'm trying to say here is, I can play ESPN NFL 2K5, a game that runs at 480p on the PlayStation 2, in 4K on my computer. Let's look at some classic sports games from the past few decades and see how they look in 4K. We'll start off with the legendary NFL 2K5. For this game, I'm using PCSX2, a fantastic PlayStation 2 emulator. The original Xbox version of this game is superior, with more detailed player models and textures, as well as video highlights by default. However, since there is no original Xbox emulator capable of running this game at the time of this upload, the PS2 version through PCSX2 is the best way to play it. While the textures may be less detailed, the ability to run the game in 4K and at a constant 60fps makes it the definitive way to play the game, at least until an emulator such as CXBX Reloaded is capable of running the game accurately. And contrary to popular belief, you can actually watch video highlights during the halftime show and weekly recaps with a few settings changed. Next up is MVP Baseball 2005. This game is considered by most baseball fans to be the best baseball game ever made. In 4K, the game just looks so much smoother, and you can really see the detail of the players in the field. Unfortunately, the game does have some graphical glitches in Dolphin Emulator. The PC version of this game is likely the best way to play it. NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup is a game I played all the time as a kid. Most NASCAR fans would say that the NASCAR video games were at their peak when EA Sports made them, at least on console. 05 had a super deep career mode known as Fight to the Top, and had some of the best driving in any NASCAR game. It was also really fun to drive backwards and push the game's physics to the limit when you were bored. FIFA 06 looks great in 4K. I've never been a big FIFA fan, but I know most players are unhappy with the current state of the game, and like most sports games these days, Ultimate Team has ruined the series. When playing this game in 4K, however, you can go back to the glory days without having to deal with the outdated 480p resolution. That's a fine tackle. Steered up to him well. Always options for the man on the ball. Oh, chance here in the middle. Oh, no, offside. Remember, the offside decision is made when the ball is played to him. Come away here. NFL Street was a very popular football game full of over-the-top action. This is the type of game that would be very successful today if brought back. I'm sure football fans would love a new addition to the NFL Street series. And no, NFL Tour does not count. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 is a classic Tony Hawk game. This version offered an all-new career mode and had a multitude of new features.
NBA 2K3 shows you the roots of 2K. At the time, 2K made a game for almost every sport, but NBA 2K eventually became their flagship. You can see some of modern 2K in this game. For example, the 2K camera and the broadcast quality presentation are present in this game. Bryant takes a turnaround, Jay puts too much on it. Good rebound on the inside. Fisher launches from beyond the arc. NBA Live 2005 brings you back to the days when the NBA Live series had respect. Today, the only thing NBA Live really has going for it is that it features less microtransactions than 2K. NBA 2K bodies Live in every other category. Back in 2004, however, most would argue that NBA Live was a better game. The controls were ahead of their time and the game was deep and fun. NFL Blitz Pro is an NFL game that, like NFL Street, features over-the-top action. However, this game takes place in an actual NFL stadium with 11-on-11 action. Between plays you could push and shove other players, and the game's visuals take a big leap when playing in 4K. He gathers it in. Looking for a speed. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So a decent game on the run back. First and ten. Looks downfield. And that's incomplete. He's lucky that one was intercepted. Second and ten. Davis, right side. And Grant with the tackle. And that will bring up third down. That's a good job of following your blockers and going with the flow. The defense is stacking up against the run. To the right. And Smith reels it in. So they can't pick up the first. Let's see if they're going to gamble hit on fourth down. NBA Street is a basketball game that many fans consider to be one of the greatest ever, up there with NBA Jam. Similar to NFL Street, this game took basketball to the streets for an over-the-top masterpiece. NHL 06 is a game many NHL fans think back on nostalgically. The game was smooth, intuitive, and deep. Game, they'll run right over you. Moved over. He gets checked by Kupina. A lateral pass. Brings it up. Behind the net. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 looks very crisp in 4K. I never played the Tiger Woods games often, but this was an important entry to the series, being the first to offer analog swinging controls. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle with a nice straight drive. Pay close attention to his transition between the backswing and the downswing. The timing is crucial. Now you try it. Keep it in the fairway and hit it more than 260 yards to move on to your next challenge. NFL Quarterback Club 2002 is a game that isn't commonly brought up today, but was a great game for its time. Something cool that I noticed while playing this game was that it was commentated by Kevin Harlan, who most of you will recognize as the play-by-play -play voice in modern NBA 2K games. Well, it's heads. Ismael is back and ready to receive this opening kickoff. 
and we're underway. And he returns it out to the 29 yard line. First and ten. These are just a few of the mini games from the sixth generation of consoles that you can emulate in 4K on your PC. A question I often see is, how do you play these games with a keyboard? The truth is, you can plug any controller into your PC and program the buttons within each emulator. For example, you can plug your Xbox One controller into your computer's USB port and then map the buttons of a PS2 controller or GameCube controller to your Xbox One gamepad. Or you can buy a GameCube or PS2 to USB adapter. There are a few steps you need to go through in order to get the emulator set up and running, so I put links in the description to some tutorials that can help you out with that. You'll be surprised at how good some of these games look in 4K, especially if you're used to playing them on the console. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sports. Thanks for watching.